Everyday couple interaction is hardly mundane and run-of-the-mill. It is a systematic recreation and reinforcement of social patterns. Couples' leisure behavior is gendered in the same way that household labor is gendered. Social status enhances men's leisure activity relative to women. Leisure activity, as Ferry said, has gendered meanings. Women and men are creating and affirming themselves and each other as separate and unequal. In other words, leisure activity is both an occasion for relaxation and occasion for doing gender. As suggested by Osmond and Thorne, gender relations are basically power relations. Because the power of men in families is legitimate power, that is backed by structural and cultural supports, it constrains the less powerful to act so as to maintain the social order and their relationship stability. Few women make demands of their male partners so that their leisure changes. Instead, they say they are happy with their joint television watching. We see this same pattern when we examine family labor. Most women describe the objectively uneven distribution of household work as fair. Hochschild argued that women give up leisure as an indirect strategy to bolster a myth of equality. Rather than resenting his leisure time, a woman uses the time during which her male partner is pursuing his own interests to engage her interests of housework and childcare. Overall, she divine, defines their level of involvement at, ho at home as equal, a view that can only be sustained, Hochschild said, if she ignores her own lack of leisure and the amount of leisure her partner has. 